Pale Lager, Wikipedia article audio. Pale Lager is a very pale to golden colored lager beer with a well attenuated body and a varying degree of noble hop bitterness. History Description Variations Pilsner Dortmunder Export Helles American Lager Dry Beer Premium Lager Strong Lager Bach Malt Liquor Oktoberfest Beer Slash Marzen The brewing process for this beer developed in the mid-19th century, when Gabriel Sittelmayer took pale ale brewing techniques back to the Spaten Brewery in Germany and applied them to existing lagering methods. This approach was picked up by other brewers, most notably Joseph Grahl of Bavaria who produced Pilsner Urkel in the city of Pilsen in the Austro-Hungarian Empire. The resulting Pilsner beers pale-colored, lean, and stable beers were very successful and gradually spread around the globe to become the most common form of beer consumed in the world today. Bavarian brewers in the 16th century were required by law to brew beer only during the cooler months of the year. In order to have beer available during the hot summer months, beers would be stored in caves and stone cellars, often under blocks of ice. In the period 1820-1830, a brewer named Gabriel Siddelmayer II the Younger, whose family was running the Spaten Brewery in Bavaria, went around Europe to improve his brewing skills. When he returned, he used what he had learned to get a more stable and consistent lager beer. The Bavarian lager was still different from the widely known modern lager, Due to the use of dark malts it was quite dark, representing what is now called Dunkel beer or the stronger variety, Bach beer. The new recipe of the improved lager beer spread quickly over Europe. In particular Sittelmayer's friend Anton Dreyer adopted new killing techniques that enabled the use of lighter malts to improve the Viennese beer in 1840-1841 creating a rich amber-red colored Vienna-style lager. Pale lagers tend to be dry, lean, clean-tasting and crisp. Flavors may be subtle, with no traditional beer ingredient dominating the others. Hop character ranges from negligible to a dry bitterness from noble hops. The main ingredients are water, pilsner malt, and noble hops though some brewers use adjuncts such as rice or corn to lighten the body of the beer. There tends to be no butterscotch flavor from diacetyl, due to the slow, cold fermentation process. Pale lager was developed in the mid-19th century, when Gabriel Sittelmayer took some British pale ale brewing techniques back to the Spaten Brewery in Germany, and started to modernize continental brewing methods. In 1842 Joseph Grahl of Pilsen, a city in western Bohemia in what is now the Czech Republic, used some of these methods to produce Pilsner Urkel, the first known example of a golden lager. This beer proved so successful that other breweries followed the trend, using the name Pilsner. Breweries now use the terms lager and Pilsner interchangeably though pale lagers from Germany and the Czech Republic with the name Pilsner tend to have more evident noble hop aroma and dry finish than other pale lagers. With the success of Pilsen's Golden Beer, the town of Dortmund in Germany started brewing pale lager in 1873. As Dortmund was a major brewing centre, and the town breweries grouped together to export the beer beyond the town, the brand name Dortmunder Export became known. Today, breweries in Denmark, the Netherlands, and North America brew pale lagers labeled as Dortmunder Export. In 1894, 
the Spaten Brewery in Munich noticed the commercial success of the pale lagers Pilsner and Dortmunter export, Spaten utilized the methods that Sittelmayr had brought home over 50 years earlier to produce their own pale lager they named Hellies, which is German for light-colored, in order to distinguish it from the darker, sweeter beers from that region, Dunkel beer or Dunkel's beer. Initially other Munich breweries were reluctant to brew pale-colored beer, though as the popularity of pale beers grew, so gradually other breweries in Munich and Bavaria began brewing pale lager either using the name Hell or Pils. Today, in Munich and Bavaria pale lagers termed Hellies, Hell, Pils or Gold remain popular, with a local inclination to use low levels of hops, and an ABV in the range 4.7% to 5.4% ABV. Munich breweries which produce such pale lagers include Lohenbrau, Stottliches Hofbrauhaus in München, Augustiner Brau, and Hackerchor, with Spaten Franziskaner Brau producing a 5.2% ABV pale lager called Spaten Münchner Hell. The earliest known brewing of pale lager in America was in the Old City section of Philadelphia by John Wagner in 1840 using yeast from his native Bavaria. Modern American lagers are usually made by large breweries such as Anheuser-Busch. Lightness of body is a cardinal virtue, both by design and since it allows the use of a high percentage of rice or corn. Though all lagers are well attenuated, a more fully fermented pale lager in Germany goes by the name Diet Pils or Diet Beer. Diet in the instance not referring to being light in calories or body, rather its sugars are fully fermented into alcohol, allowing the beer to be targeted to diabetics due to its lower carbohydrate content. Because the available sugars are fully fermented, Dry beers often have a higher alcohol content, which may be reduced in the same manner as low-alcohol beers. The first dry beer, Gablinger's Diet Beer, was released in 1967, developed by Joseph Oads at Rheingold Breweries in Brooklyn. Oads developed an enzyme that could further break down starches so that the finished product contained fewer residual carbohydrates and was lower in food energy. Since the 2012 revisions to the Diet Nung, it is no longer permitted to label beer as diet in Germany, but it may be advertised as suitable for diabetics. Prior to this change, a diet beer could contain no more than 7.5 grams of unfermented carbohydrates per liter, and the alcohol content could not exceed normal levels. A marketing term for a fully attenuated pale lager, originally used in Japan by Asahi Breweries in 1987, Karakuchi, was taken up by the American brewer Anheuser-Busch in 1988 as dry beer for the Michelob brand, Michelob Dry. This was followed by other dry beer brands such as Bud Dry, though the marketing concept was not considered a success. Premium lager is a marketing term sometimes used by brewers for products they wish to promote, there is no legal definition for such a product, but it can be meaningfully applied to an all-malt product of around 5% ABV. Anheuser-Busch also uses the terms sub-premium and super-premium to describe the low-end Bush beer and the slightly higher-end Michelob. Pale lagers that exceed an ABV of around 5.8% are variously termed Bach, malt liquor, super-strength lager, Oktoberfest beer slash Marzen, or European strong lager. Bach is a strong lager which has origins in the Hansa Attic town of Einbeck in Germany. The name is a corruption of the medieval German brewing town of Einbeck, but also means billy goat in German. The original Bachs were dark beers, brewed from high-colored malts. Modern Bachs can be dark, ember, or pale in color. Bach was traditionally brewed for special occasions 
often religious festivals such as Christmas, Easter, or Lent. Malt liquor is an American term referring to a strong pale lager. In the UK, similarly made beverages are called super strength lager. Oktoberfest is a German festival dating from 1810, and Oktoberfest beers are the beers that have been served at the festival since 1818, and are supplied by six breweries Spaten, Lohenbrau, Augustiner Brau, Hofbrau Munchen, Polliner, and Hackerchor. Traditionally Oktoberfest beers were the lagers of around 5.5 to 6 ABV called Marzen, brewed in March and allowed to ferment slowly during the summer months. Originally these would have been dark lagers, but from 1872 a strong March brewed version of an amber-red Vienna lager made by Joseph Sittelmayer became the favorite Oktoberfest beer. The color of Marzen and so Oktoberfest beer has become even lighter since the late 20th century, with all Oktoberfest beers brewed in Munich since 1990 being golden in color, though some Munich brewers still produce darker versions, mostly for export to the United States. Oktoberfest beer is a registered trademark of the big six Munich breweries, who call themselves the Club of Munich Brewers. Oktoberfest beer is also known as Munich beer, and along with Bavarian beer Munich beer is protected by the European Union as a protected geographical indication. Notes Bibliography Fix, George J. Vienna Marzen Oktoberfest, Brewers Publications, 1991 ISBN 0-937381-27-6, Miller, David. Continental Pilsner, Brewers Publications, 1990, ISBN 0-937381-20-9, Rickman, Daryl. Bach, Brewers Publications, 1994. ISBN 0-937381-39X